Hey guys, BreakWizard59 here, and welcome back to another exciting video. So today we're actually going to do a catalog flip through of the 2005 LEGO catalog. Now recently I did actually find a website that has PDF versions of all the LEGO catalogs from like the early 1950s I believe, all the way to present day. So I thought that was really really cool. Um, there have been other YouTubers like Jang Brooks and Just Do Good who have done catalog flip throughs, um, but I haven't seen a flip through of a 2005 Lego catalog. And 2005 is my favorite year in terms of Lego Star Wars, so I thought why not do a fun little catalog flip through for this 2005 Lego catalog. Now, this uh, that site actually has their catalogs are pretty much in uh, they aren't in English so. Again, for example, this one is in German. Um, but still, I thought I'd do a bit of a flip through. Again, all the sets are pretty much exactly identical to the ones found in the American catalog. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. All right. And another thing I like in this is that they actually put like two pages together as if you're actually opening a real Lego catalog. And I really do like that. But anyways, here we have the table of contents. And you can see we have some uh, Duplo and Quattro. Now, they have a lot of Duplo in here. So I'm going to go through that a bit quicker. Uh, again, I don't have as much interest in Duplo. But you can see now here we got some like animals and like a house. And then here we got a farm. I thought that was actually kind of cool. Don't really see as much of that with Duplo uh, nowadays. And then same, we got into a bit of city style with like our uh, post office and like vehicles. And then here we have like a fire station and police station. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, and then here, this is like your um, trains and bridges. Uh, again, these are really similar to like Lego City nowadays. And I actually thought this was quite interesting. And now we got some more Duplo. And now we got a race car. So this is like, um, like the city line. And here we got Bob the Builder. And then this is kind of like your speed champions type, except Duplo. So it's actually really interesting all the different sub themes Duplo had back in the day. I um, mean, yep, more Duplo now. We got like castle related Duplo. So there were a lot of sub themes. I guess Duplo was doing a lot better back then. Um, and next off, oh, even more Duplo. Now we got more like airplane, airport, and then we got like castle, like uh, like princess castle. So again, now this is kind of getting into like. Um, Lego Friends, like Lego uh, Disney related. Um, and uh, now I believe, yep, this is, okay, this isn't really, this is again your mini doll type um, thing here. Now this was before Lego Friends, but again, the Lego minifigures are similar to your like Lego mini doll style. Um, so again, this is like your um, ancestor to the um, Lego Friends line. Next off, click click it now this I mean it doesn't really look like Lego so this is actually very interesting not completely sure what this is but it says Lego even though it really isn't um, but this is more like, like these like small like design kind of things like decorations you can like put on all your stuff um, I guess this was again to uh, uh, centered geared towards like the younger like girls um, again I'm guessing it didn't do too well because I really haven't heard of this theme. Um, but now we get into some uh, more. Uh, this is like your Lego creator. This is like the early Lego creator type. Um, you got like these, all these like uh, part packs. I think these were actually really, really cool. I do have one of these. Um, and now we get into like the more present day style creator where we got like your house, your three in one types. Um, these are actually quite interesting. That plane looks pretty cool. Uh, definitely love the house. I'd like to get that actually. Um, I know they released one in 2006 or 7 that was pretty similar but had updated parts. But that's really, really cool. Um, and I really like the lighthouse you could build with it. Next off, uh, again, some more creator. These are like your animal style. I really do like that um, the T Rex. And then the lion looks pretty good as well. Those would be some pretty cool sets to get. And then the shark actually looks really nice as well. And now we get on to World City. Now, World City is actually quite interesting because this is, like, not, like, a regular city, but this is, like, international type. But it's really cool. That train looks awesome. Um, I really like the airport. It's tough to see. It's in the corner. 
But that was an awesome, awesome airport. I actually do really want to get that for my Lego city. Then another awesome train in the corner. Um, and uh, this is like your just regular Lego city. And I believe this is one of the first years of Lego city um, in its release. So these models are a bit more basic. You can see we got the fire station. The police station, it's kind of funny because they still use those gigantic molded like bumpy like rocky base plates. Uh, don't really see those nowadays, but those that actually looks kind of funny. Then of course you have a police truck, um, your fire truck, um, and then your fire station, which looks all right. And now we got construction again. This is this actually looks really similar to um, the ones that they have nowadays um, in terms of Lego construction, um, but I think it looks really cool. And now we get onto a bit more World City. We got like your rescue helicopter which i think looks awesome and then you're like fireboat um and then here we got a discovery channel lego so that's kind of cool this is like your like space uh, shuttle discovery you have the iss ram station um so some pretty cool like mars related uh you can see we have the rover so some really cool sets actually uh for the discovery channel i know they released that uh, shuttle a couple years later too a bit more updated but I think that looks really nice. Next off, we have pirates. Um, now, again, we don't see much of pirates. as They did try to come back, relaunch the theme a couple times. But this is like your classic pirates boat with the big red sails and the pirate sign on it. Uh, and these were like some of the really old ones. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, these minifigures are kind of like not your regular Lego minifigures. They have like the different like mold where you can actually move the hands are like they're basically like bigger minifigures you which you can't separate these are like your lego juniors type it says four plus again i have a couple of those i'm um, the alpha team i haven't heard of this but i really like that uh snow base plate in the top left set and i mean this theme looks all right but i'm guessing it didn't do too well because i've really not heard about that that much Moving along, Dino 2010. Now, that's a bit of an interesting name. Again, 2010 doesn't relate to the year as this is in 2006 or 2005. Um, but this was, again, another short-lived theme. But uh, this was your, your pre-Jurassic Park, Jurassic World kind of thing. Um, that That's a pretty interesting helicopter, actually. Um, would love to see a review on that. Um, but again, they have some pretty interesting sets, nice dinosaur molds. And then Vikings. This was a really, really cool theme. Um, again, I love that fort on on page uh, 43. Uh, but that's a really, really cool fort. Um, I would love to. I, I haven't really seen a review on that. I would love to see one. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty rare set. But I think that looks really awesome. I'd love to actually get my hands on that. Because that's actually really cool. Same with the Vikings boat. Especially that large like sail piece. That's awesome. And that cool monster. The green one. So Vikings is a pretty interesting theme. I definitely think it's very interesting. Sadly, it didn't uh, last too long. It was a couple years only. But still, it had some really nice sets. Next off, Knight's Kingdom. This was actually cool because I have some of these like large buildable type Knight's Kingdom figures. Um, and then you got some minifig scale versions. So this was actually really cool. I have the large... Uh, yeah, I have the this castle here on the right, this large Knight's Kingdom castle, which I thought was really, really cool back. Uh, I got it like in 2007 for my birthday, so that was awesome. Then you got your like uh, good guys castle too, so that was awesome. Moving along, we got Lego Star Wars, which is super, super cool. Now, again, this is my favorite year for Lego Star Wars, um, but what we have here, these are all the awesome 2005 sets. And I pretty much have all of them. It's my goal is to review all the 2005 Star Wars sets. Out of this page, the only one I haven't reviewed is Anakin's Jedi uh, Starfighter on the top left. Um, that was a really, really cool set. I do have just a Starfighter itself. I still need to get the Vulture Droid. But these builds are really, really good. I do wish they'd re-release like, the Wookiee Attack, which is on the corner. I love the ATRT. Of course, Turbo Tank is one of my top two favorite sets ever. Um, so these are some really awesome sets. I um, really do love this line for Star Wars. Next off here, we got the Ultimate Lightsaber to another cool set. And this was when the light up minifigures were there. But then you got some of your 2004 Star Wars sets with the Yoda's Hut and X-Wing. I'd really love to get that set. And especially for Yoda's Hut. 
But then you got the updated Millennium Falcon, much, much better than like the 2001 version. Next off, Harry Potter, and I believe this was for the Goblet of Fire movie release. Now the Graveyard deal, well, that set looks awesome. I'd really love to get it, but it's super rare and super, super expensive. But that's a set I'd love to get. That actually looks just pretty good to add in a regular city as well. Um, you got some of the other sets, like the Hungarian Horntail. That was a really cool set. That included the ultra-rare Mad-Eye Moody. And then you got the Durham Strang ships. That's some awesome, awesome Harry Potter sets. Next up, oh, we got some of the 2004 Harry Potter sets. And I, I, that's a pretty interesting Hogwarts castle. Um, I do kind of like that one. Um, again, you got your ultra rare Dumbledore in his like bright magenta outfit, and then your I believe that was your second Hagrid's hut, and then you got your Hogwarts Express. So some really cool Harry Potter sets. And then Lego Sports. So you got your like basketball, ice hockey. That's actually pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. Um, so it's pretty cool to see that you have the ice hockey ring too, and then you got your soccer one, and you can I like these sports sets because you could actually play games with them. Next off, Bionicle. No, I'm pretty sure this was the first time Bionicle was released. Now again, I don't have too much of an interest in Bionicle, but there's a lot of different uh, like Bionicle sets here. And then here's some of the more the buildable figure types. They look pretty interesting. I like the colors of the parts. Um, and then you got a Bionicle like fortress. So this is like minifig scale styled Bionicle. I haven't seen that before. That's actually really cool. Um, and then moving on, racers. Now this is a theme that is a pretty yeah, it's retired right now. But like this was just your cool like racers theme. Or these are like your Hot Wheel styled cars basically. And we got some more racers. These are your like Technic styled racers. And then you got more racers. Except this time you got like Ferrari related. I love the Ferrari sets, the minifig seal ones. And I like how the one on the bottom. 8375 you actually get a base plate with that that's really cool your technic ferrari looks good and then same with the minifig racer ferrari and then your large like uh like large scale version um is here in the corner so uh, this was kind of cool to know that uh, the speed champions wasn't the first time lego got their license with ferrari but these are some really really cool sets and then more Technic. So this is like the first years of Technic also. So these do look a bit more odd uh, compared to the newer sets. But these um, are pretty interesting. And then here's some more Technic. A really nice motorcycle there. Um, and then same with the forklift. And then Mindstorm. So this was like one of the first years of Mindstorms. And then just an ad for LEGO.com. And that's going to do it. So there's a look at the 2005 Lego catalog. So I thought it was kind of interesting just to flip through. And again, this was also one of the first years of the Advent calendar. Um, but it was kind of fun just to see some of the older Lego Star Wars sets. And just the older sets in general. First years of City. That was really cool. Um, again, the older Harry Potter sets. So um, there you go. That's it for this bit of a catalog flip through. Tell me what you guys think. Um, did you enjoy this? If so, I will do more of these. I know I will for sure be doing one more of these. Um, and after that, if you like it, I'll continue on the series. If not, then I will stop it. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. This is Brave Wizard 59 and I'll see you all next time.